what's going on animal fans motorcycle fans and shout out to kawasaki newbie forum uh which i'm a part of and zxforum.com or dot org if i'm not mistaken but um i just want to show off some of the work that i've done most of the work was inspired by what i seen on your forums so those of you i'll give credit for helping me out and pardon the sweat it's kind of hot here in new jersey about like 98 degrees today so yeah it's, it's pretty rough but first things first I went and tinted my windscreen, okay? Now it's just a solid black. I still have to finish doing cleanup. I was up till like four in the morning, work on it. But simple uh, vinyl, black vinyl paint on the back side, and you evenly spritz it over the course of two hours, then it'll have a nice even look like I have here. It makes the bike look a little more fuller. So that, that's the first thing I did. And let's swing the camera around just a little bit. The biggest project, and labor intensive was mounting the uh, 220 speakers to the board. Now, if you're already seeing, I'm, I'm, I'm not done boring the holes, but from a distance you'll kind of see that it's, um, it almost looks as if it was meant for the bike. But, you know, it, it, it made my brother-in-law really bust some butt last night trying to get that hooked up. So, that is hooked up to a 500 watt amp, which is the Mitsu amp. That you can get from Amazon. I'm gonna open the trunk. I'm not done hiding the wires just yet, but it's still a work in progress. But you got the Mitsu amp right here, and I highly recommend it. That thing can blow. All right. So I have the the cable, the input cable, hooked up to the iPad or iPod, and you you know you can get this Velcro kind of cheap, about like three dollars and a couple of cents over at uh, Michaels on Route 22, but with that being said, my thing, I'm very vain. I like to hide the wires, but, you know, I just got done with the job. But for the most part, we got that wired up. Had the power hooked up to the GPS. Matter of fact, let me open this back up. Show you guys how I did it. The, the best way to do this is to, like, the 12-volt adapter. You want to hook that up to the back battery. So whenever the bike is on, it's on. You don't want to drain uh, your power supply or your electrical supply, which is underneath uh, the, this the chassis harness right here. All right, but you got this. Everything's hooked up to the brake light. So when I turn the key, that's when everything lights up. The only de thing that, that's not hooked up was the LED lights, which I put like a manual switch so I can turn it on and off as I please. I don't want that thing on all the time when I'm riding at night, but like I said, the GPS is hooked up iPod and damn it is freaking hot. Alright, so I'm gonna pass the key. And you can bring the camera in. I'm actually making things a bit longer so that uh I'm not having trouble inserting the key. But as soon as I pass the key, the GPS turns on and if you can see it on the camera, it's actually giving it some charge. So I'm going to turn on the iPod so you guys can actually hear this thing. And I highly recommend getting a Magellan GPS if you're de deciding on just going on some straight touring routes. And just so you know where you are because I went to Queens and the GPS died and I got lost on 495 in New York. It wasn't, wasn't fun at all. But there we go. Now as you can see, focusing on the iPod. Suckers taking a while to boot up, but if you have a BlackBerry and you have iHeartRadio, I would suggest using that because you can actually listen to Z100, KTU, Hot 97, all that. So just waiting for this to load up. Now this is a great place to have it because you can just slide it, and now you already hear the music starting to play. Now what's gonna happen? You're gonna hear a little bit of the music up close. Now, I'm going to put the volume up just a little bit and I have my sister back up just a little bit so you can hear it. So, Alright. 
there you have it. I have the amp set at max so that I can just control the volume over here. So, I mean, it, if you really put some time into your bike, you're going to get the, a lot of cool things out of it. But the thing is, when you're going pretty fast, like around 45 miles an hour, it gets difficult to hear. So if you have uh, good low-end speakers, I'm probably going to bore some holes in the back so you can hear it from there. And I'm pretty much done with that. Now I'm only going to probably do one more video, and that's when I get the digital dash for the Coso. And, you know, I won't be pie-facing you guys with uh, all these motorcycle videos. But I'm going to have, when I'm going to tournaments, like I'm thinking I might visit KOTC and... Uh, in Mars, I'll take a little ride out there and probably have some video game music like Devil May Cry or Onimusha or some hip-hop techno stuff going from there. But that's pretty much uh, the walk around, so let's kind of get like a, a little scan over here. If you hook up your Ninja, you show it some love, get some good stuff out of it. Make sure you're also doing your uh, maintenance, your tune-up, and you should be good to go. And with that, animal fans, I will see you next time. Check, it, uh, check out our podcast. Put two new episodes out and the wrestling wrap-up. See you next time. Peace.